What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Professor Anime and welcome back to another video. In this video guys, I'm here to bring you all my final review of Season 1, Episode 13 of Boku no Hero Academia. So let's get this started. So in this episode of Boku no Hero Academia, this was pretty much just a build-up episode for what's going to come later down the line in Season 2 of Boku no Hero Academia. We pretty much just see our characters, you know, continue uh, the fight between the heroes versus the villains. They end up getting their injuries treated and other stuff builds up, of course, and then the episode pretty much just ends on that point. But I'm pretty hyped for a season two. While this might not have been the very best episode, it did, in fact, adapt the ending to that arc of Boku no Hero Academia in the manga. And actually, technically, Bones has been doing a really good job adapting Boku no Hero Academia. I mean, they, you know, starting from the beginning, of Boku no Hero Academia, they actually adapted the manga to a T all the way to the end of this arc that we have now just ended at now. And honestly, I'm saying that, you know, <laughs> Bones, you're doing a good job, and I can't wait to see, you know, what other series you will be animating, which I think you are animating Mob Psycho 100, which is going to be hopefully pretty hype as well. But I'm very interested more so on how they are going to adapt Boku no Hero Academia Season 2. Probably one of the best moments within this episode is where we see All Might and he is just like, if you want to come at me, come at me. What are you going to do? How are you going to stop me? He, he's saying this to yeah, the guy with the faces on his head and everything. He, obviously All Might is bluffing because due to the power that he ended up you know, using on Nomu, you know, sending him out of the freaking, you know, building and into the sky, like, all my, you know, he was bluffing, he, he was injured, you know, there really wasn't much that he would be able to do, and then when, uh, the guy with the faces, you know, went ahead and started to attack, like, <laughs> I thought it was so funny, he's like, oh, shit, they're actually coming at me, but then we have Midoriya coming in to save the day, buying All Might some time, and then we have have it to where like all of the teachers end up appearing out of nowhere uh, and you know just wiping the floor with the rest of the villains like th that was probably one of the best moments of the episode I mean definitely just seeing all the teacher teachers in uh, UA Academy you know just laying down the groundwork on the villains what I just find really surprising is how well Bones ended up adapting Boku no Hero Academia I mean we're already on the third volume of this series halfway done with this volume keep in mind and to me you know doing that in one season you know panel by panel like seriously bones has actually done a really good job with the adaptation to Boku no Hero Academia I really enjoyed this season and when it comes to you know the manga versus the anime i'm pretty sure there are going to be a lot of people who you know are coming into the series of boku no hero academia now they'll probably end up picking up the manga and everything however which one is better that you know really depends on your personal opinion when it comes to the airing of Boku no Hero Academia. I was a little bit worried on the fact, you know, as, you know, will I end up enjoying this adaptation of Boku no Hero Academia more than the manga? Because, in my personal opinion, like, the manga to Boku no Hero Academia, it, it, the first three volumes are a very good start to the series. I haven't read, you know, up till, you know, the later stuff or whatnot, but I heard that, you know, shit really hits the fan later on, but I don't need to read three volumes in order to get to that good part, you know. So what I'm trying to say is that the manga, while it had its moments, I never was fully engrossed in it, so to speak. However, when I watched the anime, the anime did a fantastic job, and I actually kind of like the anime just a little bit more than the manga, but now that Boku no Hero Academia sees one has ended I'm sort of leaning towards picking up the manga again if I ever will do that I might even end up doing reviews for the manga later down the line or I just might wait for season two but I gotta say bones you did a really good job adapting the first season of Boku no Hero Academia 
So yeah, I guess that about does it for my review of Boku no Hero Academia episode 13, the finale of season 1. I'm very curious to hear your overall thoughts if you loved or hate this series. You know, just let me know your overall thoughts on what did you think about this series from the beginning to the end. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and of course, if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like, it always helps out the channel, and if you want to stick up to date to my future content on this channel, please hit that red subscribe button below, and you will never miss a video from me. How hyped are you guys for Season 2 of Boku no Hero Academia? Let me know. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!